Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and the crazy animals. Come here, Luna. We got a visitor today. We got Luna alone. Luna dog. This is my niece Sarah's dog, Luna. She comes to visit us on occasion. And um, she gets grumpy with Alex. There, take your bone over there. Wellington's over there, Alex is over there, and we'll see who else comes to visit us. So I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, pretty decent size, some repeat buys, some new stuff, but we'll go over all that. Um, but what I wanted to say first, where did I put my coffee? <laughs> my coffee's way over there. I got Starbucks. I know, but it's okay. I've got gift cards. See my budget. All right. So two things I got at Target at the dollar spot, but they are a dollar and I wanted to share them with you. And these are tech wipes. So they're cleaning wipes um, to use with on electronics. They're 75% ethyl alcohol. I don't know if they're antibacterial to be honest with you, but what I do know is they work great. And as much moisturizer as I tend to use and get all over my stuff, I grabbed a couple packs. Um, I've already gone through one. They work great. Um, I usually follow up with like a soft microfiber cloth just to buff out any of the, the liquid that gets left behind, but I love these. So I grabbed two and they are $1. So if you see them, I think they work better than ones I saw at the Dollar Tree, just as a heads up. Right, Luna? She said yes. All right, we're gonna go through all the loose stuff and then I have a bunch of storage solutions. I found one more of this candle holder. I only got a couple with the round and I want to stack some together and I thought I, I think I needed one more of the round to make a tall um, candlestick for spring. So I grabbed that because I saw them at my store. Um, I did pick up a pink one of these. Now um, I bought a blue one that'll go on the table behind me but then I saw this and were, thought I could make a pedestal out of a the clear glass candle holder and glue it on top of this. I like I like multiple layers of things and I think this will be fun too to incorporate. <laughs> There's Wellington or Dubby. I call him Dubby like W Dub. So he's gonna take a nap but I grabbed this in the pink because I thought it would be fun for spring and it'll go good with my navy blue mantle. Um, they're coming out with their Easter candy. I picked up these Starburst jelly beans. Uh, my niece likes these and I always put them in Sarah's Easter basket. So I just grabbed one bag of these. I'm hoping that they have this year due to like the pandemic, some individually wrapped smaller packages. Although this is only four ounces. So it's pretty small. Is it? <laughs> Guys, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. It's going to be a zoo. Um, you know, it's not the best bang for your buck if you have a larger family and lots of kids to buy for, but I just have, you know, one or two that I'm purchasing for. So this works out best to get the smaller size. I don't have to buy the big bags. I found in the wood section, it's a black, it's a cat. It will be a black cat. And it does have the tea light in the back. I mean, do I need this in my life? Probably not. Do I want it? Yes, I do. So it's going to get painted to either match Wellington or Alex or somewhere in between. And it's going to go somewhere cute because it's a cat. Like what? I found wooden shapes. And these are in the shape of like a flower. And I thought these would be so fun to um, add to like a sign, like paint them floor, like pretty flowers or even decoupage, like get some really bright floral napkins and decoupage on these and use them as accents. I just thought they would be fun. You get 10 pieces for a dollar and they are pretty thin, but that's good for sign making. I did not get the Valentine coasters, the ones that are made out of the really heavy felt. I thought of a great idea to use if I got them in the spring, we'll see. But if not, I can always sub in these. So I picked up a pack of those. You know, you just pick them up when you see them. Um, again, these are not new. I've never picked them up because I really wasn't sure what to do with them, but I have an idea to paint or stain and I can use these in my three tiered tray as like a fence background, just lean it up against there. I know lots of people do DIYs with these, but I thought for myself, 
I really like the idea of like white picket fence and just lean it up in my tiered tray for spring. So I grabbed those. And then also for my tiered tray, I need to paint up this little bird kit, this little bird house. How adorable. They had another one that had like the heart opening, but I just thought this was adorable. And I could probably, and will probably put it on a base so it's up a little higher. But you could put this, I mean, honestly, how sweet would that be on some type of a base? Um, you know, or like the, the candle stick, and you can just, so you get different heights. I'll probably just put some um, of the tumbling tower blocks under it just to give it a little more height in my tiered tray. You can even put it on like, and then put some moss around it or something. I mean, there's a hundred things you can do with a birdcage. You could even put it in the center of a wreath, which would be fun. Uh, my idea is my tiered tray and I'll just paint it with some pretty colors. So I grabbed that. Now this item I have zero need in my life for, but I had to have them. Guys, they're crayons. What? Do you look at the detail in those little tiny bunnies? They are adorable. Um, and these are straight up mine. I'll use them. But look at all the bright colors. I don't know how they operate, but I think that would be adorable in an Easter basket for anybody, including an adult like me. So I grabbed those just because I thought they were cute. I found this um, adult size face mask. We're going to open it. I got it for myself because if we're still wearing masks, you know, next winter or even this winter, this is a Greenbrier product. I know other people have hauled these. My store has never had them before until now. Um, oh, I like it. Okay. It is cotton. So I don't like the microfiber and I also don't like this big old tag here, but oh, that, that works good. I like it when they go right up under my eye. That's how I keep my um, glasses from fogging. So I'll remove this big old tag and then I'll wash this and put it with my next winter mask. I'm pretty good for right now, but when I saw the, buffalo, the red and black buffalo check, I'm like, well, if I'm having to wear a mask next Christmas and I could also iron on something. So yep, I grabbed that. That's just, you know, to have around the house. Um, again, for some house stuff, I grabbed this. It's just a razor scraper. I honestly use these on my glass stove if I spill something that I can't get off. Um, it works great. It's for paint. You can use it for lots of stuff, but it's great on glass surfaces or like if you had a frame that had something or a window with paint. In crafting, you're always needing to clean something. So I grabbed one of those. Um, the black, little plastic black ones are great too. They're, I feel like they're a little dangerous because you have to really manipulate those blades. And this one I just like better. And I, it's a little bigger for my hand. So I grabbed that just to put in my craft room toolkit. I have a, I'll have to take you on a tour when I do my craft room. It's just a blue bag, but it holds all of my like command hooks. It has a tape measure, a hammer, a picture hangers, all that kind of stuff. Um, I grabbed two more of these of the um, Salt Range uh, Cooling Refreshing Natural Mint Oil Pink Himalayan Salt Inhaler. These are working great for my allergies. Um, somebody had mentioned that they had lips, lip balms. Are the lip balms mint too? Because if they are, I'm going to need to find those in my life. And you know what else I need to find? And if anybody sees them, please let me know. Um, I have heard rumor that there's a Easter gnomes coming out and there was an Easter signs with the gnomes. I didn't get any of the Valentine signs in my area that I know of, but, um, I haven't seen, my stores don't have all their Easter out, but I need one of them Easter gnomes, like nobody's business. If you see it, let me know and I'll, I'll drive my Ohio friends. Anyway, I grabbed those. They work great. Um, especially with, you know, my allergies, like I'm all stuffed up today. This crazy dog is rolling around on her head. Come here, yo. What are you doing? Wait, what, why are you doing that? You don't even live here. She likes to come here and mark herself, mark my house with her doggy scent. And I say, girl, you don't even live here. Mm -hmm. I know, sweet girl. All right, just sit down. Um, I found these Garnier, I never know how to say this, Garnier Skin Active Aqua Boost Fresh Mix Sheet Mask. Um, bouncier, smoothier, more hydrated skin and just one application. I don't need any more bounce in my body. I got enough of that. 
and then brighter energized more radiant skin so i believe what you do is you like fold it and you squeeze and it sends this fluid that's down here if you can see it this is all fluid it sends it up to the paper mask i don't i mean i don't know what the benefit is but i think it'll be fun and i wanted to show you and then once it's all liquefied then you can tear it open and get your masks out so i just thought it was fun I, just, I really enjoy collecting these masks and trying out the different ones. And I'm really enjoying those Korean masks that I purchased. And I just mailed out Red's World's pamper package to her today. So she'll have that by Tuesday, I think. Monday, Tuesday, you should have it. But I grabbed these because I think that it's fun. And I know these are at like CVS, they're $3.99 a piece. So a dollar is a good deal since I'm not doing a whole bunch of just random couponing anymore. Finding things for a dollar works out well. Um, I got some more bags. Guys, I think I have a problem with these little bags, but can we look at the little chickies? How cute is that? And then the chevron. And I think I have found a use for some of these. And these are just the same on this side. For my happy planner, I have a laminator now, so I can make like covers for different seasons or different like little notebooks for Easter, for spring. I don't know. I grabbed those and then I grabbed these because I can't help myself. Look at the gold foil. I just love these. I'm not a huge fan of that one, but if I were to gift to like one of my brothers, maybe an Easter gift to my brothers, I would use this one for them because I think that's, I think that's fairly masculine for like a spring gift. And then there's this one, which with all the poppies on it, I'm assuming they're poppies. Could be a fried egg. I don't know. I'm going with poppy. And I love this teal in the background. And these are smaller. And I think they are perfect for, you know, again, dropping off gifts to your family, putting together little, little packages that you can drop at your neighbor for Easter, especially in my neighborhood, um, on my street. I have a fair number of older adults, like older retired folk that you know they don't get a lot of visitors because of covid so i love dropping off little just little something bake a loaf of bread throw it in here and drop it off just let them know they're not alone and it can be safe and socially distant i just put a note and i just hang it on their doorknob and i go away and they know it's for me because i feel like you know it's a rough time right now for a lot of people especially those that live alone or older and really have to be more careful so that's my public service announcement for the day. Um, I found some of the Maybelline. This is a black cherry. It's almost like a burgundy mascara. We're gonna try it one day. Um, I used to have hair that color. I used to dye my hair all the time. I used to have, I've had this color hair. I've had brown hair, blonde hair. My natural color is almost black. Um, and this is all natural all the gray and that just my natural hair but I love this color and I thought this would be fun since I do have you know the gray around here I don't feel like oh, this color would be bad now um, they also had I think in a blue and a purple maybe I definitely saw blue I don't need blue but I definitely needed this cherry just to try and then I picked up this kit for Easter because I'm gonna dye some eggs I just think it's fun I'll probably just do like a half a dozen but this kit, let's open it. I'm confused. I'm confused on how you get them to be shiny gold. I'm assuming there's some type of glitter involved. So let's look. So this kit comes with your little egg dealy whoppy that you, you know, when you go into your cup. It does have instructions and it says use cooled hard boiled eggs, cover work air with newspaper, duh. Fill cups with half cup warm water. Place one tablet. So we have all the different colors that you can dye. You know, the one, two, three, four, six different colors. Um, place one tablet in half cup warm water. Add three tablespoons of vinegar. For pink and purple tablet, use water only. So no vinegar in the pink and purple. I don't know. I guess you want to dissolve them first. She is digging up my couch. Luna, Luna, what are you doing? Girl, what you doing back there? Um, add one tablespoon of water to container. Drop tablet in the water for color confirmation. Add vinegar to dyes, not to the pink and purple. Dye will dissolve quicker. 
Add remaining water to container. Bend egg dipper, place it in your da da da. Knead each packet of gold glaze thoroughly. Cut, okay. Gold glaze, I just have one gold glaze. So you knead it thoroughly. You cut the packet along the dotted line. It keeps saying each packet, like I should have more than one, but I only have one. Um, use coloring pouch to glaze over colored eggs. Place eggs on drying tray to and allow eggs to dry before handling. And here's our drying tray. I mean, you know these kits. I'm just in, trying to figure out this gold this glaze. So I think we'll just do like maybe a half a dozen. And it says shimmering gold. So maybe what I'll do is six or 12, two of each color. I better get another kit though, if I'm supposed to have more than one of these. But it says one gold, one dipper, one color. It doesn't say how many, it, well, it, it may. I mean, I would have to say, I have no idea. But anyway, maybe I'll get a second kit so I can have more gold. Because, I mean, doesn't everybody want gold glittery eggs? And then we're going to do this on a video, guys. We are going to do this together before Easter. I'm going to get one more kit. I want more gold. I like gold. So we'll keep that. But this is the, the goose that laid the golden egg. I just think these would be so pretty. Okay, so we have that. Now, if I me haven't mentioned, let me make sure I got everything out. Yep, okay, if I haven't mentioned it before or a hundred times, I am reorganizing all my craft space. I need better organization and I need to know what I have. I need to do a big purge again. So what I'm gonna do um, next Friday, so you're seeing this on Tuesday, so the Friday after today, I should be giving in the mail this dresser thing from some company and it has fabric drawers that pull out and there's eight drawers. So um, I need to do a video on that because it's a review and then I'm going to utilize it in my craft space. So what I did is I hit up my store, the lady um, that works there told me when they would be putting out their product and I was able to score some of this new spring stuff and I wanted to show you what I got. I have a lot of it. I don't know how deep these baskets are, but I figure I'll just get a variety of sizes and work with it. Um, I sure did pick up one of these, and this is a good size too, by the way. And what this is, it's like a snack container. You can put your um, cut up apples, cut up celery, whatever, veg, a fruit over here. And then this little container, this little side has a lid that opens and it snaps. It snaps shut and it holds, I mean, I would say that's a quarter of a cup of some type of dip, dressing, peanut butter, whatever, yogurt, if you dip your fruit in yogurt. And then this little piece comes out to wash. I was thinking when I saw this before that this piece came out and I was like, this will be perfect storage for some bigger craft, you know, like items. Um, Probably not going to work for that, but I'll keep it in mind. I'm sending Sarah home with one of these because she's here when she picks up her dog. But I got these in the four colors. So this peachy terracotta-y color, the gray, the pink, and the teal. So these are the colors. Let's do a thumbnail, shall we? Ooh, other side. I need light. Um, these are the four colors of the items. I did not find the stacking bowls, but um, if I don't find a use in my craft room, I'll keep one for myself for packing my lunches when I go back to work, and then I will share the others. Like my cousin Addison, she packs her lunch all the time. I'll probably take her one and um, Sarah one. So they'll find a home. I'm not, if they don't work in my craft storage, I don't need to keep them. Then I found this size, which I love this size storage. And I'm going to tell you, it's great to store all your masks in. Like they would, most likely they would have to go this way. Although some of them, you know, could go that way. Um, this is great for masks in my bathroom. I also think this is great if your family eats a lot of pouched tuna or pouched, um, 
the pouches of like gravy mix, seasonings, those type of things, food storage. Anything that stands in a pouch, I have one of these this size, different color in my pantry and I have all of my stuff that stands up in here. Um, you know, the pouches of stuff, your tuna, your sauces, your seasoning package, your all that stands up perfectly in here in your storage and there's a little handle so it can just pull out um i grabbed two in this pink color i just liked it um so i grabbed two of those and then i grabbed the four in this size and what's funny is this terracotta this color if you can tell is definitely a terracotta um, I love these baskets. They are very sturdy in this size for sure. The smaller, the more sturdy. Just keep that in mind. But I thought if the drawers are small, this is this size would be perfect. So I grabbed four in this size. And my plan is in each drawer to probably put one basket and then not over here anything, but it will keep the two things separate, whatever. Because I have a lot of little like pieces of wood and sticks and glitter packets and all kinds of beads and stuff. So I really want to separate. I don't know if two would fit and I think two would take up a little more space, but one with a look, you know, my little stuff and then opening for bigger stuff in each drawer, but everything's going to be stored by like size. I only found these two colors in the larger one. And again, these are nice and sturdy. Um, if I find the other two colors, I will grab them. But just as a size difference, like this is a good couple inches bigger this way and a, definitely an inch or so wider. So your bigger ones and deeper, about an inch. I would say it's a, almost three inches taller, about an inch and a half almost two inches wider and definitely an inch or so deeper. So you have these two sizes. And again, either one of these would be great for pantry storage because these go down straight in the side so they're not that angle. So you can definitely store your spices in here, canned goods if you have a smaller pantry like me. Um, I have all kinds of like white of this style from Target in my pantry and I have storage, drink mixes, teas and everything kind of stored and then I just pull it out when I need something. So I only found the two in this size but I'm going to look for the gray and the peachy color if I find them. If I don't it's not that big of a deal. I have plenty of storage containers and what doesn't get utilized in my drawers or on my shelves, you know, I use these two when I'm doing projects. I collect all my materials together and put them in one bucket. So when I'm ready to film, so there's that. So I have these for inside the drawers. Now for little storage, I also bought the sandwich holders in all four colors because this is only about an inch and a half deep but it will hold small loose storage you know loose craft items when i open up packages of things especially again back to glitter beads jingle bells pom-poms all these little things that i craft with um stored in here is gonna keep things on a better organizational path and just so you know, you can do them in here as well. But what I plan to do is also, and if I need more, I can find them. But in this larger tub, you and I could probably get two more in there. And then you can label on the top here what is in each item. If you have a sticker collection or your planner stickers or things for your kids or like those perler beads, little bits of ribbon, little dried flowers, things like this keep your things organized. So I probably should go pick up two more of the sandwich size to fit in here and then everything can go in one drawer in one of these and easily labeled. Or if I don't even want to label, I can just look. A sewing kit, you have a college kid, you could totally put a sewing kit in here and send them off. Or someone who's young and living on their own that doesn't, hasn't established a first aid kit to go in here. You know, bathroom storage, it doesn't just have to be craft storage. But these fit pretty perfectly in the larger 
larger tub. And I like that. You can even sit them up like that. Well, let's put them right side up, girl. You can stack them on a shelf like this and label here what's in them or not. I like that and I like the whole color cohesion thing, but those fit perfectly in that size. Now I picked up two more of these. I have a couple, but when you see them, you know, you want to grab them if you need them. They're, you know, they're not going to hold 50 pounds. I'm going to tell you that right now, but do they hold storage? Yes. So if you have that cube system, like I have the Calyx, but lots of stores sell it, you can double your space, put one of these in your cube and you can have something on the bottom and then some little or tubs like paint or something. You can even put a small, like put that in here. One of these baskets. I don't know if this big basket will fit. I haven't tried. Yeah, the big basket can sit on top, but I'll show you something. So I grabbed two of those. You wanna make sure your legs are straight when you purchase them. They also came out with this, which is, I think if I had to guess, I don't have my tape measure handy. This is like an eight and a half by 11 or 12. It's definitely like standard paper size will fit in here, but watch this. It literally fits perfectly under this holder. So you can utilize one or two and this will pull out, but it doesn't slide sideways. And now you've got a double layered system that again would fit in your cube or on the top of a dresser or whatever. Whatever you only have to area you have to deck to craft or organize. I'm trying to stand it up so you can see it. But you would have plenty of room under here for items that aren't maybe flush. And you could either put two together and have slide this on top and have two layers, or you could do like the basket on top slide this under and now you've doubled your storage base for like three dollars so i'm hoping that the top of this dresser that's coming is at least wide enough for these two to sit next to each other and i will probably zip tie the legs together and then i have two of these that i can slide in and make a little drawer with frequently used items you know that can be stored in here maybe some ribbon um could be some more glitter i don't know i have to dig deep in my house guys it could be paints in here it could be paint brushes in here your glue i'm a huge proponent of my everyday crafting items that i have i keep together so i have a cart it looks like the ikea cart but i think i got it at michael's and i have a, the top shelf is paint brushes and um, adhesive glues like my E6000. It has pens, markers, cutting stuff. My next layer down, I have tapes, all different kinds of mounting tapes, uh, double-sided tape, duct tape, painting tape, all my tapes. And then I have a thing of like Elmer's glue and Mod Podge and then backups of my E6000. And in the bottom, I keep any tools that I have for just crafting and I keep my hot glue guns and my clamps and everything is there. Those are stuff that I use for universal crafting that don't need to be stored and stored separately because I'm always reaching into that cart. This, all this organizational stuff is for individual craft items. Um, the little, you know, maybe I'll have a box or a drawer or a tub here of just these little wooden pieces until I decide what I want to do with them. You know, I pick up these things and I like to have them organized. So I hope that was helpful for you. I know it was a little long winded today because girl can talk, you know, but I hope that was helpful for you because I know that not all of our stores have this spring stuff yet and I don't have all the items, but I wanted to bring to you what I do have. So if you're on the hunt or want to do some spring organizing, um, you know where to go. All right, everybody, you have a good day and I will talk with you later. Bye. What are you doing? Go get it. She's not listening. Bye.